The next thing I'm going to show you is about adding colour um, and more in particular tonal shading. When you add colour to your greetings card, <clears throat> you need to do it in two ways, either do block shading or tonal shading. Now block shading is just adding the colour consistently inside your box, applying the pressure all the way through. So the colour should be consistent the whole way. Doesn't mean you have to press very, very hard with the pencil. If you do that, not only do you use more of the pencil, but you could accidentally rip the piece of paper or the card that you're working on. I always find it's easier to do smaller segments of colour first. So you can see I'm doing small strips of the colour and then I'm blending where they meet so that you don't see the line. It's really important that when you get to the edges, you don't go past these lines, otherwise it looks very, very untidy. Easiest way to do it is take your time, go around the inside of the line first, and then when you go and fill in the middle, it doesn't matter too much because all you're gonna do is match up with those lines. With color, to get a really good impact, you do not want any white of the card showing through the color. So you can see here, I'm making sure that all areas inside this box are completely covered and there's no white spaces. All you can do is if you do find after you've shaded, you've got a couple of white spaces, just go back over with your pencil. Again, it doesn't mean you have to press hard. I'm not pressing too hard, I'd say my pressure's probably about medium. It's not very light, but it's not very, very hard. Just enough that I'm getting a good coverage with the colouring pencil. And you can see that it's nice and consistent. One part doesn't look darker than another. It's nice and bright, it's nice and bold, and therefore it stands out. Like so. The next one is obviously using tonal shading. Now tonal shading works in two ways. You can either blend two tones of the same color. So for example, with these greens, I've got a dark green and a light green. Or you can actually just use one color and just use the pressure. So I'm gonna show you using this technique in two ways. I'm gonna do the dark to light showing you using two versions of the color, and then I'll do the light to dark using just one. So with this technique, because we're going in two ways, we've got dark to light, which is two colors. I'm gonna split this box roughly into thirds. So just ever so lightly, I'm just gonna split this into thirds so you can see. I've got two thirds, I've got three segments within that box. I'm gonna take the darker color first and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shade the side on the left, the darker. And again, same technique as the block shading. I'm not pressing too hard, but I'm not pressing too lightly to begin with. With tonal shading, you need to work in strips. You don't want to see the blending between the two colors. So I'm gonna do about half of that third on the left in the darker shade. What I'm now gonna do is finish that third off, but I'm gonna start releasing the pressure as I go. So I'm just, same pressure, and then I'm releasing the pressure the further out I come. So it's not straight away releasing the pressure so that I have the line, but it's just ever so lightly releasing the pressure so it gets slightly fainter until I meet the end of that third. Then I'm gonna take the lighter color and I'm gonna do the same from the other side. So I'm gonna start about half of that third coloring it in with the lighter color. Again, making sure you don't go outside of the outlines. And then I'm gonna start removing the pressure. Now I work better coming away from myself. So I'm gonna turn this card, this paper around, and I'm gonna work this way. So I'm gonna start releasing the pressure of the pencil the further right I come, so it starts to get lighter. You have to be very, very careful when you get to the edges that you don't end up just doing a different pressure. You do need it to look consistent. So what I've now got is I've got two boxes on the outside, darker, slightly fading in lighter, and the lighter. Now what we can do is blend these together in this middle section. So I'm gonna keep with the light pencil, and I'm gonna continue pressing lighter and lighter with my pencil as I go until I match up with the darker color. So you can see it's a gradual fade 
from the color on the left hand side to the dark color on the right. I can now then repeat that process. So I'm now going to turn this back the other way and I'm going to repeat this process with the darker color. So I'm going to continue pressing lighter and lighter as I go until I get all the way to the other third. The whole idea is you get a gradual fade, no obvious lines between the two colors. Again, be very, very careful when you're near the edges that you don't press too hard so that it ruins the illusion of the gradient. And then you've got the fade from lighter to darker, like so. And then the last one, which is light to dark, this time I'm just going to show you using just one colour. So I'm going to use this blue and we're going to start light to dark. Now, I personally find it easier to go from the heavier pressure and getting lighter and lighter as I go. So again, I'm going to turn this page around so it's going from dark to light for me. And again, I'm just going to purely start pressing harder with the colouring pencil. This time, I'm not going to stop until I get to the other side, but all I'm going to do is as I'm going, I'm loosening and lessening the amount of pressure I'm applying with the pencil ever so gradually. I'm not suddenly all of a sudden going too much, taking too much pressure off. I'm just slowly taking the pressure until it's barely touching the page. You can then continue with your edges. And again, this is where it's important you match the pressures you've already done. So take your time because you don't want lines showing. Same at the bottom. Again, matching the pressure you've already done. So reducing the pressure you've got. So you can see I've done a little bit harder on this bottom bit here. Um, my pressure didn't release as much as I did in the middle. So I can sort that out by just going back over that middle section a slightly bit harder so that it matches. And then I'm just going to do the edges stage by stage, pressing lighter and lighter to match what I've already got. So slightly releasing the pressure until it matches. And then you've got lighter to darker with just the one color. So this is quite good for creating um, interesting typography, interesting colors. If you don't want to blend two colors, and you just want it to fade and show that it's a bit more of a darker and a lighter version of that colour rather than actually blending two together. So your task now is to give that a go. So remember for the block shading, it's just one colour, nice and consistent the whole way through, no white pieces coming through. The dark to light, I'd like you to pick two different colours, so a darker and a lighter version. The kind of pencils you've got, the best ones will either be blue or green. And then the light to dark, pick any colour you like, and you're going to go lighter to darker just by slowly releasing the pressure on the pencil so you get that gradual fade. Good luck!